Well, the big focus for our team was um, to improve, pay more attention to detail, play a little bit more discipline as a team. And I think we probably accomplished that. I think we did improve. I think we played better, especially on offense uh, in this game. Um, now, we still got a lot of things that we need to continue to improve on. And I think that everybody needs to know that we're not interested in sliding backwards. We need to move forward uh, in terms of uh, what we need to do to continue to try to improve and become a better team. Uh, there's an opportunity out there today to play a lot of players, uh, which we played some early on, um, and not worrying too much about the score, but worrying more about how can we develop our team, how can we play more players. And, uh, I don't think that you know we played quite as well on defense today. Um, they hit a lot of screens and quarterback draws and um, did a really good job of attacking us, um, sort of nickel diamond, uh, to be able to keep the ball to shrink the game. And, um, but I thought our consistency on offense was a lot better. Uh, I think Jalen scored you know, the first three or four times he was in there um, with good drives. We didn't finish one drive in the second half. It was a little disappointing when we had the ball down in there close. Um, but all in all, I'd say we improved. Um, we let, again, we had a lot of different guys in there on kickoff coverage, but we let one get out, which gave them good field position that led to their only touchdown. So that was a little disappointing because we had worked on that play. But uh, all in all, I'm sort of pleased with the progress that we made and uh, certainly going to stay focused on the things that we need to improve and get better. Up front right here with Chandler. Right side. You had mentioned during the week you wanted to get more guys involved in the passing game on offense. Did you like how Jalen was able to spread the ball around? And what did you think of his passing game in general? He did a nice job today. He threw the ball in the right place. Um, you know, he was accurate with the ball. Uh, kind of took what the defense gave. Um, I'd like to see us make some more explosive plays in the passing game. Uh, but the passing efficiency was a lot better. Uh, a couple times that we did have sort of longer passes down the field. You know, call in the game, we didn't get the kind of protection we needed, and um, it didn't work out. But uh, I was I was actually pleased with um, the way Jalen handled the game and managed the game, and also the way he threw the ball in the game. Back here on the left side with Michael. Just wanted to know what you thought about the outside linebackers replacing uh, so many guys hurt and the, the pass rush, how you thought that went? Well, we obviously have a lot of work to do at that position. I think you know some things that maybe the fan doesn't notice is the guy doesn't retrace on the screen. Um, that's part of stopping screens. Um, guys don't retrace on a quarterback brawl. That's part of being a good pass rusher. Is knowing when's the guy setting for a screen, when's he setting for a draw, when's he pass setting. So these things are all things that we need to improve on. Uh, so that we can play those particular plays better. And I think the experience that the guys got today will certainly be beneficial to them. Um, you know, hard to evaluate exactly how they played. Uh, they, they got the ball out really quick on almost all the passes. They were, you know, short five yards. So there wasn't a lot of opportunity to get a lot of pressure uh, on the guy. But we'll, we'll, we'll evaluate how these guys did and hopefully they'll improve because of um, their experience that they got today. Right side with Charlie. Just wondering if you had an update on Lester Cotton, but he might have the same injury there toward the end of the third quarter. Uh, he just got dinged a little, you know, so we took him out based on the situation in the game. Um, I don't think it's anything serious, and um, I don't think it should be anything that should hold him out long term. Okay, up front here with Mark. <clears throat> Just in his little, I mean, some limited time out there, what did you see from Tua and, and some of the uh, younger offensive players? Well, I, I thought Tua you know, did a pretty good job in the game. He obviously will learn from it, took a sack when he shouldn't have taken a sack, didn't have great protection, um, but still had an opportunity to get rid of the ball. Um, and we, you know, we don't need to be taking negative plays because we don't get sacked there and we just make it second and 10. We still have a chance to continue to drive. but. Um, I think he did a lot of good things. He made some accurate throws, uh, made some good decisions, managed the game fairly well. Um, probably had a touchdown pass and 
you know, the back ran the wrong route and ended up tipping the ball to the guy that was open. That was the primary target. So, um, but I think all in all, he did a pretty good job, and I think the experience that he got today will be invaluable, and um, hopefully we can continue to do that some down the road. Back to the Brainerd. On that note, how did you determine the timing of when to put him in, and was there a specific game plan as to when you were planning to insert him into the game? Yeah, we, we had a game plan, and it's exactly what you saw. I'm going to put him in the second quarter, no matter what the score of the game was. Jalen knew it. Jalen expected it. Um, to get him a series or two, uh, he played one series in the second, and um, we wanted to play a series or two with Jalen in the second half, so he got used to coming out and playing in the second half, and then we wanted to play two of them pretty much for the rest of the game. So uh, it worked out pretty well from uh, what we had planned and what we were able to get done in the game. We've got two more, Alex. Right here with Alex. Talked about Jalen's efficiency, but uh, decision making today, uh, taking that, that long run, uh, the 55 yarder start off, just how do you feel he's making that progress in, in making the right call, making the right play within the offense? Well, he's always done a pretty good job of that. I mean, that, that was the same kind of plays that he's always made a lot of explosive plays on. Made a bunch of them last year, the same kind of play. So uh, he's very good at that. And, um, you know, obviously he had a great quite a few runs today that were very effective. I think he rushed for over 100 yards or 150 yards or whatever. Um, and he was very efficient with throwing the ball. So I think the combination of those two things are going to make us better. Um, and hopefully we'll, we'll gain a little bit more rhythm in some other areas that uh, we'd like to improve on and continue to get better on offense because of it. Last one here with Drew. And coach, I know you haven't had a chance to watch the film yet, but how did you think the offensive line played as a whole? And I know you wanted to play with more power, you said, following the Florida State game. Well, um, look, I think they did a better job in this game. Um, I think when you have the ball third and two at the two, and you tell them that if we gain a yard, we're going to go for it on fourth and one, and you don't gain a yard when you're Everybody's got a chance to get movement at the point of attack and you don't get any. Um, am I happy about that? No. Did they play better today? Yes. Um, and you're right, I hadn't watched the film yet, so it's not fair to make a total assessment. Um, you guys can see better where you watch the game from than I can see where I watch the game from. What did you think? I thought it was so-so. Okay, well, you know, I, I, I appreciate your opinion. <laughs> you know, if I watch the film and I think it's so-so, then we'll try to hire your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.